Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So what we're going to do today, um, Theola, I believe this is what you were asking me to make one of. Um, if not, then we're just doing it because it's fun. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is from my friend Brenda and it is a like tongue depressor, a very large size tongue depressor, which I don't have. So I've made kind of something like it out of coffee dyed paper and I'll show you guys how I did that and then we're going to decorate it up to go in the um, little fairy mushroom journal. So first of all I'm sure you can guess I'm going to use layers of coffee dyed paper because um, a tongue depressor is you know kind of a little bit thick. They're not super thick but they're they're not you know they don't bend or anything so obviously this is going to bend more than that it's not as thick as that but um i think it'll be fine to use as a place marker or bookmark or whatever you want to call it in your journal so how y'all doing hope you're having a great day i'm having a pretty good day other than i've officially decided i um officially have old lady skin <laughs> because that spot where the cat bit me like what was it? I don't even know two months ago or whatever in the world every time I bonk it on anything I break blood vessels right there and I'm sure you've noticed because you've probably seen you know that little spot get red and then it gets better and then it gets red again well this morning <clears throat> I barely 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 grazed it across the corner of one of those um uh, what are they called? Rigid mailers that I have. They're kind of those cardboard mailers, you know, and, um, tore the skin and, you know, got it bleeding lovely. I was just like, I, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I forgot to tell you how, what size this was. This stick runs about, uh, it's like just over seven and a half because of the rounded end of it. And then they're about an inch wide. So I just um, sort of, you know, guesstimated this is over an inch. But it doesn't matter. You're just wanting to get the layers of the paper together. So it doesn't, however you want to do it, you could do it. You could glue like four uh, whole pieces like this of coffee dyed paper together. And, um, and then cut multiples you know what I mean like cut them into strips or if you already have strips of paper you can just glue those on top of each other I mean there's a multitude of ways you just want to get it like roughly four layers thick or if you want it thicker you can do it thicker however you want to do it. I'm just trying to get something like a tongue depressor because I just I don't have any of those so um yeah that's what we're doing and I just folded it all wonky but Again, it really doesn't matter as long as that paper is folded together and stuck together. So you're going to just keep on going like that. Get it the size that you want. And I know it's, it's nowhere near perfect, that's for sure. But who is, right? Okay, we're going to get the cutter. And what did I say? Seven and a half, roughly. Uh, it's cl it's really a lot closer to eight. So I'm gonna cut an end off. Let's cut this end off because it's a little bit in better shape. And then I'm gonna go to that line right before eight. This is that seven eighths or whatever? Okay. And then it's, what did I say it was, wide? About an inch? Okay. So we're going to just kind of wing it here and try to get about an inch. And, you know, like I said, it may not turn out exactly perfect, but just as best you can. Because I know it's really hard to cut on those cutters like that. And it still looks like it got a little crooked, unless it's just the way that paper is up there. No, it's definitely crooked. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here again and try to get it right this time. Oh, somebody asked if I would show a picture of Pasha, my cat. 
Um, I do have a video with him in it where he, I said, why can't I get anything done? It was because he was laying all over my desk and rolling all over that day. And he wouldn't let any of us grab him. <laughs> he kept like chomping at us. I mean, playfully, but obviously you can still get bit. But, um, and then also it'll, today I posted a video on Instagram with him in it, but it'll be, uh, yesterday because you guys will see this video for me on Tuesday and I posted the video on Monday, if that makes sense. So if you go to my, um, Instagram, it's crafty cat 72 and it's all lowercase crafty cat 72, all one word, no spaces. Um, you can see that video of Pasha. He was watching the birds on my iPad. So, um, I'm just using my corner rounder and I'm rounding the corners because as you see, that goes in a rounded way. I could have traced it, which would be another option, but I knew like some people aren't going to have one of these sticks. Like I wouldn't have one if I didn't have this one that Brenda sent me. Um, so I figured I wanted to find a solution that would work without having one of those tongue depressors. So I'm just using my corner rounder and I think I'm rounding it seven millimeters. So you're just going to do all four corners. And that's just going to give you, I mean, it's not perfect, right? It's not exactly like a tongue depressor, but it gives you that same sort of look as the tongue depressor. And this one sort of ended up looking rounder. Maybe I used a bigger rounder. Did I use the, maybe I did the 10 millimeter is what I must have used. So maybe we can put it back in and get, maybe. <laughs> and of course this thing doesn't like punching when the paper's a little wet. So wait for your paper to dry after gluing, but we're doing a video here, so there's no waiting. Or if you're like me and just severely impatient, then waiting is not also usually not an option. Because I suffer from big time impatience. <laughs> and this just won't even cut that because it's wet. Oh, it kind of did it. But anyway, if you waited till it was dry, it would just, you know, punch it much nicer. So, yeah. Or if uh, you don't have a corner rounder, you could use something like the end of your glue, um, trace, you know, around the rounded part and then just cut them to that roundish end. Or really, I mean, you could do it on a rectangle. It doesn't, doesn't have to be exactly like this, but... Anyhow, I think you get the idea. So that gives you that sort of tongue depressor type thing. So I'm going to use this one because I like the coloration on this one. And so you can see it's, um, so I'm doing almost like a, I saw it on Pinterest type thing, but I have the item right here with me instead. So um, I'm going to just sort of do what Brenda did. So thank you, Brenda. It was a fabulous little thing. And I think that they would be very fun in, a journal or a book you could you know if you just like to read you could have it as a bookmark so I'm gonna do this stick a little bit different just because you know it's fine <laughs> and I want to but I'm gonna just do some other types of stamping on it and you know what's kind of gone with this journal this is the kind of thing I've already done on there so and I don't have to go all the way up because you wouldn't see the whole thing a lot of it's going to get covered, but that's just how I want to do it. So that, and then maybe what else do we want on there? Maybe we need a little bit of gold. <laughs> Shocking, right? And I just painted some dictionary page with gold paint, the gold ink that I have. I'll just put a piece of that down. Just kind of doing my collage -y thing that I do. Doing it my way, right? Like we do. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty good other than my darn hands. But I think that's gonna end up being the rest of my life battle. <laughs> Do 
just because I mean some stuff has helped yes there are, are things that help for sure it just isn't um, gonna go away I don't think I want to use these little things that um, I use all the time my little piece of plastic it just gives a different kind of a mark and then I kind of want something with some color on there. So I think I'll use a little bit of one of my finger paint, not fingerprint <laughs> designs. <laughs> Just because I like that blue is pretty. I kind of have all these blank spaces on the same side, didn't I? There's this thick right there. I guess it's just the paint. So yeah, just having a pretty good day. Ran to the post office, although if gas prices keep going up, I'm probably gonna have to go to like, just going to the post office twice a week instead of every day, or you know, every weekday. I don't usually go on the weekends, but, um, cause yeah, it's just getting nutty, nutty, nutty. Remember that year when we were energy independent? That was pretty great. <laughs> That's gone. Um, I have this writing pad that when you tear the sheet of paper off, it leaves... Well, actually, I think I cut those off, didn't I? Yeah, they're cut along there. But anyway, you, you get it. It's the little, the little spiral bound thing. And I've cut it and I had all these strips of it laying around so I just um colored it I actually used my blue watercolor on there but you could definitely use that mermaid lagoon um distress oxide and um do the same sort of thing with some water and then I spatted some um black ink on there and then I was just about out of my other Windsor and Newton gold ink so it was there was nothing really left and I just went you know <laughs> with the lid off and did those circles just trying to get anything that was in there out so I did that to all of these and yeah they turned out really cool I think so yeah just a fun little something so I think I'm going to take off part of the perforation here even though that sort of ruins my little circles but it's okay oh my gold's falling off that's the only thing with the gold ink it does fall off sometimes so don't know I think that will be covered Maybe I want to tear this more and just have the little holes, basically. Oops. So, yeah. But we'll see. It, I mean, if it stays like it is, the price, then, you know, uh, it'll, I guess, be all right. But And then Etsy's also raising their prices on us, or their fees, fee charges. And I don't really know what to do about that because I really don't want to raise my prices, but I might have to. So, yeah, fun stuff, right? I don't know why they always gotta do that stuff. They just did it to us, was it last year or the year before too? And that whole thing with the quote unquote free shipping that isn't really free. That was another real irritating deal, but again, what are you gonna do, right? Because I tried to go somewhere else, but that didn't really work. Okay, maybe we should put some number up at the top too, just so that there's a little something more up there. All right, and then I've got, so um, you can see Brenda did like, um, it looks to be sort of like um, uh, burlap, but it's in like a cream color. Well, I have regular color burlap and then I, I have this kind of stuff that it's almost like it's back. I think it was a ribbon um, and a little bit finer 
you know, gauge or whatever. I don't know what you'd call it, but anyway. So I think I'll put that on. And then she's got lace. You can see there's a layer of lace. And instead of lace, I think I'm gonna use this. And I know it's a very similar color to what we already got on here, but um, it just looks good with what we're gonna put on here with the mushrooms. So that's why I kept that color. I just want it really frayed and like strings hanging out and stuff like that. That'll probably go next. And I need to leave some space up here because you can see there's the space for the hole that gets punched. And then she's got some eyelash trim. So I have some eyelash trim. And it's like a multicolored one. And then we're gonna put some mushrooms. So this is one of the mushrooms that's in my digital kit. This is the original though, that's all collaged and everything. But you can use, you know, one or make your own, whatever. And then these little ones, these are um, the ones right out of the kit. And I think we'll do something like that. Okay, oh, I didn't use this. I'll, I'll do that after. <laughs> okay, do I wanna use? Not that, I don't think. Let's use this art glitter glue. And my thing's a little bit bigger than hers, so you can choose whatever size um, you would want on your stick, but um, I liked that mushroom. It just seemed like a good good one. Yeah, this has a like a weird backing on it. It's almost like plastic. I did that straight and I probably won't put this on straight, but it'll it'll be glued one way or another, right? Yep. Okay, and then we'll put our this kind of fabric and I'm gonna kind of do it at a different angle because that way you'll see it a little bit better if you if you just put it all straight and then put the mushroom on top, you might not see a whole lot of it. I'm using tacky glue. You can use um, fabric tack if that's what you like. Whatever will work to hold your fabric down, basically. I might kind of wrinkle it a little bit. Okay. And then, this is the tricky part. I think I'll just set this, uh, maybe I'll put a little glue down the middle. And then I'm just going to kind of set it on there because... <laughs> It'll get glued too when the, the mushroom goes down. So let's put the ends in there at least so we don't see the ends. Eh, this stuff is super fiddly for me and I'm not really sure why. <laughs> it's really not one of my favorite things in the world, but it, I mean, it looks super cool and I like it. It just kind of drives me out of my mind. So I don't know. I want to see some of that blue. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's just way too fiddly for me. <laughs> and I have some and I would like to use it. I just struggle with it. When you, oh, why did I put the glue all the way up? It won't go all the way out there. Keep it more central. I am going to use a lot though because I want to hold down that um, eyelash trim and this piece. I want to make sure it doesn't end up falling off or something. I love these mushrooms. They're just super fun. Yeah, I like that. It's cute. And then this little guy, um, I uh, printed him out on kind of like copy paper, but I backed it with some other paper so it's a little bit more sturdy. Just to make sure. I mean, I'm gluing it all the way down, but there's lots of layers and bumpies and lumps. So just to make sure it stays kind of where I put it. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're gonna punch our hole. Let me get my doodad here, crocodile. That was a gift. So kind. And then this is a rusted eyelet. It didn't rust quite as well as the other rusty pieces I have, but it's got a little something on it. And I'm gonna put that in because this is wood or balsa wood or whatever you wanna call it. So, you know, chances are that's gonna stay. But I just thought that maybe it'd be a little bit better if this had um, some extra strength, you know. So I'm adding an eyelet, but you can do it however you would like add an eyelet or not depending on what you end up using if you actually have the the tongue depressors then you don't have to worry about it but let's see if i can get this one in this one's kind of big but i wanted that sort of rusty look Put that clamped oh i bent it <laughs> cut a little ah See, I don't like it when that happens. Why does that happen sometimes? Most of the time it goes great. Other times, I'm not sure why, but it gets messed up. Yeah, it got all wonky. Uh, I must have grabbed it wrong the first time because it squished the second time just fine. Okay, and then I have a piece of kind of gauzy type stuff or um, cheesecloth. Um, there's a bead behind there too in kind of an amber color, a button, and then a green bead. Just just for a little something. Like I said, I don't do a whole lot of jewelry stuff, so I don't have a whole lot of things. But it's just not really my interest, my area of interest, I guess you'd say. So, um, oh, please tell me. You know what we might have to do? That's not going to work because it's too fat now with the uh, eyelet in there. So we're going to do a ring, like a jump ring instead. We might go ahead and keep the, let's keep the safety pin. We'll use a jump ring to attach it so that it'll dangle more. I don't want it all caught up on there all the time because that's enough to drive you out of your mind. And unfortunately, it did bend my paper a little bit. But if you set your eyelet right, you may not have a problem with that. <laughs> All right. So that is my version of Brenda's um, popsicle stick, tongue depressor, whatever this is. I, I don't know that I've seen them that big. They're The ones that I've seen are smaller. But... I mean, yeah, wherever you can get them or if you have them or seen them. If not, you can make them out of paper. So either way, I think it will work fine. I mean, it's a little heavy, so obviously you're not going to be wanting to, you know, hold it up because it's not nearly as sturdy as this. But I think to put in a journal as a page marker, I think it'll work great. And I know I mentioned last time that we would sew in our signatures, but um, I have, I spattered some ink on the front of the journal and it's drying so I'm not gonna mess with it right now um, but we'll work on something in here so I'm gonna move these I'm gonna put this one back up on my shelf that Brenda gave me and this one will go over with the other ephemera and dry and I may end up spattering it I don't know and then this is that bag that Linda gave me, and I think I'm gonna um, sew that in as part of the signature, but I kinda wanna do something to it first. So I thought we could work on that for a bit. Let's see how that goes. I don't really know exactly what I wanna do yet with this, but we'll see what we can come up with, huh? I'm sure something. I'm just see if I had any other cool things. This is my Sears and Roebuck that my sister got me for Christmas. Cupids are cute. Some of them kind of have scary faces in there, but 
Oh, I like this kind of, um, these order sheets. And then there's some, oh, oops, there's some crazy foam in there. I have no idea what that is. I'll just pull it off. I obviously was doing who knows what. All right. So there's those. And then we can, of course, use like, you know, mushrooms or whatever. So yeah, thank you, Linda. And thank you, Brenda. Super awesome, you guys. Just send me some goodies that I could play with. And there's a um, postcard in Brenda's too that I might end up putting in here in the journal. I should probably keep this for an idea but I want to use it in this journal so I might make one after I finish this video just so that I've got it and then I'll show you guys too. I mean I'm not exactly sure how she did it but I'll have to look at it and see. Oh it's one of those bags huh? Yeah I forgot those bags you sent me. Yes, 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 yes. But I was thinking you could even do it with a piece of that kind of deli paper, you know? So, maybe we'll do some stamping on this too because that works pretty good. What do I do with my, there it is. I'll just put a little bit of a few things on the outside of it. It doesn't have to be completely covered because it's a cool color already, so. That's fun. I love this crackly thing. It's just a great little added bit. Um, do a little bit more here. I'll help you if you actually pushed where you needed, Amy. <laughs> ah, drag it through the black. Uh, do I want to do the inside? Maybe a little bit, yeah. See the other ones through. Okay, it should be good. Let me just add a few bits of things here and there. Yeah, if you listen to that, I'm back on the cat uh, video that I did of Pasha on Instagram. If you listen to it, like turn your volume up. He does his cute little meow things that he does. <laughs> I told my daughter, cause she's like, mom, that's so cute. I'm like, did you listen to it? And she's like, oh no. I'm like, that's the money. You gotta listen to it. Cause he's got his cute little meows on there. Watching the iPad, yeah. I've, I've had him watch the iPad before because, he, like I said, every time we watch TV, he won't leave us alone. He won't, he just sits right in front of the television. So, um, sometimes I'll just turn on the iPad for him so that he gets away from the TV. <laughs> uh, itch it. He is a goof. Big time. And I wrinkled it, and that's okay. I kind of want to wrinkle it a little bit. Okay. And then we need a piece of this. I just like the color difference between the two. Yeah, I remember my grandfather, sorry, my brain's going all over the place today. 
Um, every time he'd bump his hand, he'd be bleeding all over the place. And I always thought that was so strange when I was a little kid. And now I totally get it. Because, you know, when you're younger, you can smack your hand pretty good or whatever, your knee or whatever. And you might get a little sort of a scrape, but it, a lot of times it doesn't even bleed. I mean, I barely grazed that, that um, envelope thingy today. <laughs> Ridiculous. Jeez. Oh, I feel like it needs more stuff, but we'll see what we got here. I might use... Yeah, my grandfather was always out working in his barn, you know, doing bebopping around, building things and whatever. So um, he was always all dinged up. That would work. Half the time I'd, because I'd follow him around outside and everything and jabber at him and be like, Grandpa, your hand's bleeding. He'd <laughs> be like, oh, yep, it is. Because <laughs> you like, you don't have to hardly touch it, and it just rips and bleeds. It's like, wow. Great. That's the only spot I'm having that problem. I might go to the doctor and see if, what the dealio is, because it's just that one spot where he bit me. I don't know what, why it would make a difference, but I'm going to scoot it up a little bit, I think. So then I still feel like I need something down at that end. Like maybe one of these or something with some gold would be good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that whole sprucing up your scraps and all that um, Louisa Heinzel started. That's such a great idea because sometimes you're like, huh, yeah, it's kind of boring and I could copy dye it, but I don't know, you know. And I was just messing around and had extra paint. So I did that and it looks pretty cool. I like it. It kind of would look cool up here too to have a bit. And then this piece. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. And then I'll put another something over. Let's put this one down first and then I can take another piece. I need to do some other colors. I keep doing that same sort of color combo. I mean, it's great for this journal because that's sort of the colors I'm using. But um, yeah, other journals, I, it'd be nice to have some variation, right? And this is out of that stuff from Amazon again that I keep showing you guys. Maybe we'll use some of this down here. Okay. And then of course I'll probably spatter it. <laughs> it's like how many steps for one piece of ephemera, right? I know it gets sort of nutty. But it's what we do. Nutty things. Come here. Come here, little fairy. I kind of feel like she needs just an actual flower behind her. If I can find one. Maybe shabby dabby doo doll flower. Oh, 
Tina. I don't know if I want one the same color as her. Blue be better. Don't know. Mm, no. Not, it's not working for me. Cut that off of another one, I can tell. That one might work. Yeah, I think I like that one. I think so. Cherish. <laughs> Those are shabby dabby you dot. I kept thinking they were, but this little guy over here. The bird's nest. Okay, this definitely needs to get inked. I know that much. And I don't like the cut job I did on that until I chopped it off of another piece. I shrink, shrink these and make them bigger and do all kinds of stuff. So I need to print them out again. I don't have very many to choose from. I know there's more. Oh, she needs it too. We'll probably just get this part done and then I'll go let you guys go and I'll finish another day or I'll show, just show you when it's all done. I'm sure you get the gist. I'm just decorating that and maybe what I'll do is um, go over how to make that if I can figure it out. <laughs> so you guys can see if you got any of those big bags. I might try to make it out of um, deli paper too just in case you don't have the bags or whatever. You might be able to get it a piece of dolly paper, or even scrapbook paper, that thinner scrapbook paper, and use that. It's fun to have little things like that that you can fold and have in your, um, whatchamacallit, sewn into your signature. Okay, just give it up, Amy. <laughs> just, just give up that page. It's, it's a done one. Don't want it to hang off, but I want her to cover most of the stem part. I don't care, the flower I want to show, but the stem is not so wonderful since I chopped it off of another one. Oops. Oh, she ended up still being able to see a lot of it, huh? Okay. Now, I think I will go ahead and spatter that on the outside. And we'll have to make cards or something to go on the inside, too. Never ending, right? I'm trying to find some kind of paper I can spatter on and not be sad. Okay, I gotta grab my paintbrush. It says <laughs> multiples. And I got my white ink.
from Winsor & Newton. I've got black. So this one's just white. This one's the Black India ink, Indian ink, and this one is gold. But I really like these inks to do this because they do a nice fine kind of spatter. And I've also learned that the smaller brushes do a finer spatter too, which duh, makes sense, right? But it did take me a while to figure that out. Oop, almost, almost. Let's put something on her face. I don't mind if a little gets on her hat, but I don't want it on her face. And I'm not gonna get a whole lot back here because I wanna decorate that still. This one I usually use on the black ink. And it's probably better, like sometimes when I spatter when I'm not um, making a video, I wait till one like layer dries and then I do the next one. That way you don't get mixing, unless you want mixing, you know, if you want the colors to, like the white to mix with the black or whatever. But um, I try to let it wait sometimes just so that they don't mix a whole bunch. enough white. I need another one for gold. I still get it all over my desk and everywhere else. I really make sure you stir this. I know I say that every time, but there's always new people and um, it is important to stir this gold ink and probably the silver too. I just got the silver, but um, because all that gold stuff settles to the bottom and if you just do the top, you just use up all the, whatever the liquid is, they mix with it and you don't get a whole lot of the ink. Even when you shake it, it still doesn't mix it up as good as it does if you stir it. Okay. And this I always kind of paint on to something because I can use those bits for collage. It just, just adds a lot to a collage. All right, so let's get her face uncovered. So there's the front of that and I'll just keep going in that sort of direction for the rest of it, but there's that one. And then we did our little tongue depressor or whatever you call it, popsicle stick type thing, but made out of paper. So yeah. So thank you to Brenda and Linda for the ideas and the goodies and all. I really appreciate it. That was very kind of you. And we will see you guys again tomorrow. I love you guys. Talk later. Bye.